so here we got a T5 Tremec with a broken uh, shifter fork. That one back there. Uh, we're going to be replacing that. First off, we uh, after we take the lid off, we knock out the, the pin out of the dog that engages the, the shifter forks. Just slide everything out. There's the new fork that's going in. Lubricate everything. So here's going to be my first mistake. Um, I didn't put it in in the right order. So the the second shifter fork is supposed to go under the first one there, the one that I already put on. Um, you're gonna see it here shortly. So here it is. Uh, you're gonna notice that nothing is aligning up. The dog is not in all the way. Um, and I just wasn't, it wasn't going in uh, as smooth as it should have. I do realize it here soon. And then I fix it. So here, I'm trying to knock the, the pin in and it just, it would just not go in. So I started looking around and that's when I figured out that it was in the wrong orientation. Here I, I fixed it. Um, it's now it's the, so the secondary, the second fork shift with the black pads on there, that's supposed to be under the, the, the bigger fork, the, the new fork. And uh, once I fixed that, it, it, everything just slid right in. After I tighten everything with the gun slightly, it's on the it was on the lowest setting, so it's not tight at all. Um, then I come back with the with the torque wrench. Uh, I believe it was 15 foot pounds for the cover bolts. Next off is the tail piece. First we clean it off. Um, again, we're gonna use the sealant, the same type. Um, there's there, there's a kit that you could buy with the, all the gaskets, um, you know, the pre-made gaskets and all that, but like I said, the customer didn't wanna wait for that to come in. I didn't put sealant on that top hole that that it seals up against the O-ring 
up on top of the transmission the, where the shifter lever is um, so I didn't put any sealant up there I try not to put too much sealant either I didn't want a lot of uh, squeeze out there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of squeeze out either so I think I did a good job there Now for the tailpiece bolts, uh, it's a two-step torque procedure. I think it was uh, 20 foot-pounds and then uh, uh, 45. I can't remember if it was 35 or 45. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to the torque specs down in the description. Now here for the shifter uh, dog or whatever you call this piece here, this cam, um one thing i didn't um i didn't uh, know right away is that uh, in order to put this cam in you have to uh loosen up the the tailpiece or you have to have the the tailpiece loose before you put this in uh here you can you notice that the um tailpiece bolts are backed out i had to back those out to pull the tailpiece out a little bit and uh, so that can slide in um, just don't forget to put the spring and the and the uh, ball bearing on the bottom of the that cam there so it, it clicks into uh, place after that we torque the tailpiece back in and uh, inserted the the shifter plate there and everything was good there Next off, we uh, after we torque these down to I think 15, uh, yeah, 15 foot pounds as well. Uh, we just uh, it was sent to put it in the truck. Now this transmission is from a Mustang, I think. the 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 motor and the 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 transmission on this truck came out of a 83 Mustang, I think is the 5.0 engine on there. Uh, so to put it up, we because of how the exhaust was made we had to turn it sideways slide it in place and then uh turn it up uh, right side up uh there we just wiggled it a little bit to insert the splines in the clutch but um other than that it was pretty straightforward after that we just put up the the cross member that holds it there the the transmission mount um and after that it was just bolt everything up uh put the transmission on the bell housing the, the bolts for that and those were torqued down to uh, I believe the torque specs for that is 45 then 75 foot-pounds um, yeah that's it's very simple uh, procedure there it's just four bolts that make the to hold the transmission onto the bell housing after that, we just uh, engage the clutch, uh, assemble the clutch levers and all that stuff, and uh, inserted the drive shaft, the shifter up on top, and that was that for that job. Uh, fluid wise we used uh, ATF automatic transmission fluid that's what the manufacturer calls for uh, if you go on to the Tremec website it does tell you to use uh, the Dexron 2 I believe it is or their uh, you know their oil which I assume is Dexron uh, it's a type of Dexron 2 oil uh, fluid um, but we did just uh, use uh, regular ATF fluid, Dexron 3 I think we used, uh, we couldn't find Dexron 2 locally. Um, and like I said, the customer was in a rush to uh, get this truck back on uh, driving, so we uh, got what we could get, and that's what we put on there. We topped it off with uh, Dexron 3. And then we just uh, put the speedo cable on there, the reverse 
um, the reverse light switch, which goes on top of the transmission. Um, I realized I didn't put that on, and I had to put it on after the transmission was already up. So that's one thing to look out for. It, it screws onto the shifter plate on top, on to where, where the forks go. And here's the truck. Um, I, I drove it and so the, the symptoms were that it, on first and second gear, it uh, wouldn't grab. It, sometimes it would grab, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, and it would just grind. Um, when I opened it up, I just realized right away it was the, the broken fork.